Well, hi, Lindy. Thanks for joining in. Um, can you hear and see me okay? I can. Can you hear me okay? I, I can. And I was going to ask how your level of privacy is, but it looks like you're in your car. Yeah, I. this was the only way I could really join and not have other people listening. So this feels better than being anywhere else right now. Okay. All right. I hear what you're saying on that. So uh, why don't let's why don't we just start um, normally in a first session? I kind of go over some assessments, gather some information. But until that point, why don't you just share with me what's going on with you right now that brought you here today? Yeah, so I, I'm not doing well. Like, okay. I'm just not okay. Like a month ago, my husband we have been fighting a lot. We've we've not. We didn't really get yeah. along. We don't get along real well, but we've been fighting a lot. And about a month ago, he said, he told me, well, I think you should, you need to move out. I think you should leave. And I, I don't, like, I work customer service from home. You know, I don't make a lot of money. And um, so I, I haven't left because I, one, I, well, I don't really know if I should leave. If I, if I, do I have to be the one to leave? So I haven't left, but it's not really okay. And so about a week and a half, two weeks after that, I just started not just feeling kind of I haven't well, I was having trouble. I'm having trouble getting out of bed. I'm having trouble just kind of functioning. And and it wasn't like I woke up one day I was like this, but just kind of gradually and then about two weeks ago it got really bad. And um, you know, I, I mean I work from home. So that helps, but, and I work customer service. So I'm, you know, I'm not like, I don't have to be seen. I can show up in my pajamas, but I, I've started calling out work. Um, I'm, I'm showing up enough, but it's, you know, I got a call from my, my manager and, uh, and I just decided, you know, something, something is, something's wrong and maybe I need to get some help. Okay. Um, well, I'm glad you reached out. So what I hear you saying so far is that you're experiencing marital difficulties. Um, sounds like it caught you by surprise. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, in the past two weeks, um, you've become more depressed. You're going to work in your pajamas, which, you know, you work at home, you're not on camera, but this is a departure in behavior for you. Yeah. Um, and you're missing work to the point that um, your manager is calling you and these um, these depressive symptoms is what is what brought you to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had depression in the past, but not for a long time, like just and, and I was able to kind of, you know, like if I just exercised or, you know, saw a friend or something, I it felt better, but it's not getting better. It's getting worse. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot here for uh, us to talk about. There's a lot, um, you know, that we can do um, to support you through this while you decide. Um, if it's okay with you, I want to get a little more background information sure. just so I can fill in a picture. Yeah. Yeah. For you. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what, what I would like to do is just find out, um, you know, what, when's the last time you've been to a doctor? Do you have any medical conditions, any medications that I need to know about any chronic conditions? No, I mean, I went, I saw my primary <laughs> care maybe right before the situation with my husband, maybe like a few weeks and everything was fine. I, I don't, um, and you went to them just for like a regular checkup? Or was uh, there something? Was, no, no, it was just a regular checkup. I don't have any, like I've always been pretty healthy, okay. you know, like no blood pressure issues. I'm not, I'm not diabetic. You know, I've always exercised and tried to take care of myself. I don't, I don't like to take medication. I like to okay. do things like naturally. So, um, you know, if I can't fix it through my diet, then... <laughs> you know, usually I can fix it through my diet. So they ran the blood work and I had my hormones checked because I'm, you know, headed towards menopause, but everything was like where it was supposed to be and there were no issues. And 
I was given a clean bill of health and said, come back okay. next year. Yeah. What's, um, what are your drinking and smoking patterns? Maybe any medical marijuana, anything you want? Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I like to take really good care of myself. I mean, not to say that I wouldn't have like a glass of wine or a mixed drink on occasion, but I can't even tell you the last time I had a drink and I, I don't smoke. I, I mean, I, like I smoked when I was in my twenties, I did all kinds of bad stuff in my twenties, but you know, that's been a long time ago. Um, so I just, just kind of not what, what I value right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And are these previous brief um, depressed periods um, in the past two years, in the past five years, what's what, when did those occur and how long did um, they last? Well, I well, don't really remember was when my grand, my granddaddy died. He, that was real hard because he was, he was real important to me and he was a big support. And so that was, that was real hard, but um, that's okay. been 10 years. It was, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. And, and honestly, like I wasn't like this, I still went to work, you know, I was still going, I just felt sad and maybe not wanting to do as much as I normally did. But I mean, I don't know. I didn't feel like it really stopped my life. I feel like, I feel like somebody's stolen me from me. Right oh, there. okay. Yeah. Well, well, actually that's very good and descriptive language. That really helps me. Um, let me write that down. Um, what I so I I have a, a real short questionnaire sure. um, that we use in our office, and it's just helpful. Um, it assigns a number. Okay. Um, to um, it's a depression scale. Okay. Um, it's just it's just a marker. It gives me an idea of where you are, and as we work on improving, okay. you can. It's a measurable way to um, track your track your uh, improvement. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. There's nine questions. And this is, you want to think about the past two weeks, which is going to be easy for you because this is kind of in your mind when things started to turn. Yeah. Um, you're going to answer with a number. If you have any trouble, just let me know. Zero would be not at all in okay. the past two weeks. One is several days. Okay. Two, more than half the days. And three is nearly every day. Okay. 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 Little interest or pleasure in doing things. Uh, that's definitely a three. Okay. Feeling down, depressed, or hopeless. Yeah, that that's I would say that's a three also. Okay. Trouble falling asleep or sleeping too much. This would be just a sleep pattern that's uh, unique to you, different than in your past. Uh, I would say I would say nearly every day. Um, okay. and maybe because like, I'm sleeping a lot more, like I'm having a hard time getting out of bed, but then there are sometimes when I can't fall asleep, but for the most part, like, I just, I'm so overwhelmed. I just can't deal. And so I just sleep. Okay. Yeah. Um, feeling tired or having little energy. Well, that's nearly every day. Okay. How was your appetite? Overeating, not eating? Um, I'm still eating, but I'm eating less. So maybe nearly every day. Okay, I mean, I'm, so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not overeating. I'm not overeating. Okay. Yeah. How about feeling bad about yourself? Well, I'm a failure. I've let people down. I've let my family down. Yeah, that's, that's definitely nearly every day. That's every day, every single day. Every single day. Yeah, every day. Um, how about being able to concentrate on things? Are you having any trouble? I mean, this would be reading, um, watching TV. This is not just work. This is what you yeah. would normally find pleasure in. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because I just sleep so much that I'm not really awake to have to concentrate. Um, okay. So, but I mean, it is hard. Like, I just can't. I. I can't really think real clear. You know, I just feel foggy. I just feel really foggy. Yeah. Okay. So that would also be focus. focus. Yeah. Fog. Okay. How about um, um, moving slowly um, that people notice, or it could even be the converse of that. 
which is um, um, like twitchiness, fidgety, restless. So this would just be a change in in how your body is moving. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. What is it? Uh, maybe the the number one. Whatever the number one is. Okay, several days as opposed to not at all. Yeah. 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 I'll put zero to one on that. Okay. Yeah. Cause I mean, I am sleeping a lot, so that would mean I'm slower, right? Well, this is more about when you're awake. Okay. Um, and this is just your body moving. And so, okay. I mean, if nobody's really looking at you. You wouldn't really know if you're at home. And that, and that's it. Like I'm pretty much at home. I haven't been going out. I haven't been seeing anybody. And you know, my husband is we're not sleeping in the same room. Like I'd barely see him. So I, I would just, let's just stick with the one because I don't really know. Yeah. Okay. I'll spare that. How about thoughts that you would be better off dead or of hurting yourself? And this can even be just thoughts about yeah. it. You don't need a plan necessarily, but it's this awareness. Yeah. I, I definitely just would like to not wake up. Okay. I would, and when I would you say not, not wake up, yeah. What does that mean to you? Well, I mean, I wouldn't do anything to myself. I wouldn't do anything. But if I didn't wake up, I would be fine with that. If I just went to okay. bed and didn't wake up. So, okay. yeah, I mean, it's, I just don't feel very hopeful or just have a lot of, I just don't know how this, how I can be okay on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, in this dialogue back and forth, um, I'm sure you can see that where that you are significantly depressed. Um, and by our measurements, um, you're you're right in there with uh, severe depression it, it, numerically. You know, this is an arbitrary scale, but it gives us some back and forth. It gives us an assessment place to start. Um, when you mentioned that you can't fall asleep, is that anxiety related? Have you had any, or do you know what anxiety is, how to recognize it? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's like worrying, right? Or like thinking a lot about things, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it can be feeling anxious, nervous, on edge, being yeah. unable to control your thoughts, um, trouble relaxing, becoming irritable, easily annoyed, and a feeling like something awful might happen. It can lead to panic attacks, which are very short, as opposed to a low-grade anxiety. And it, the reason I'm asking is because this can go hand in hand with depression, even though right. maybe your majority of what you're experiencing is depressive. Yeah, I don't, I mean, when I can't fall asleep, I kind of feel like it's more that, like I've slept so much and then I just can't, mm. can't you know? And yeah, there's some thinking but I'm pretty checked out. Um, so, I mean, I might have some anxiety, but I don't really, I don't. And I mean, the worst thing that could happen has already happened. So I don't know what worse could happen at this point. Like, I, I mean, what else is there to worry about? It's all already happened. Okay. Yeah. Did anyone ask you to seek therapy? Were you advised to, or is this something you, you're shaking your head? Yeah, no, I, I just, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job and I don't want to lose my job because if I lose my job, <laughs> I guess that is the, uh, that is something bad that could happen. I guess I am concerned about that, but it's not like it keeps me up at night, you know? Um, but when I got the call from my manager, it was kind of a wake up call that like, excuse my language, but like, I need to get my shit together, you know? Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we can do a lot. Um, to bolster your um, emotional resiliency, you know, mental fortitude, um, help you with healing, decision making, um, maybe even couples therapy if your uh, or if your husband is interested. I mean, there's a lot of different ways we can go with this, um, but our foremost concern will be to help stabilize um, you, people dealing with depression. Um, you, we can do a lot to alleviate the suffering of it even if the circumstances are not changing. And, um, you know, what I hear you saying is you're not on any medications, um, you're not on any substances, 
Mm -hmm. you don't have any chronic medical conditions, mm -hmm. you're not even on any medications, mm -hmm. and that um, this is daily, uh, and it's now creating, it's not just that you're depressed, but it's creating a level of distress around your fear about your job. Yeah. Um, you, you hit the criteria of a major depressive um, disorder. Okay. Um, it has a frightening name, um, but it, you know, it is a shorter time frame. Um, and in your case seems to be triggered by an event, but also had been leading up to it. it would this, does this seem right to you? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, I just don't want to take medication. So I hope, I hope that you can help me so I don't have to take medication. There's a lot that we can do cognitively um, for this and, um, to help you through, um, you know, we'll, we'll be working together um, several sessions, um, and we're here to help you. Okay, thanks. Thank you for seeing me.